No chill, and there is no filter. That's what's up. No chill, no filter. Team me, bitch. What's popping? What's popping? And what is popping again, y'all? Where is it? <clears throat> I got it somewhere. I'm not gonna sweat that right now. I was gonna use this time to talk about the uh, UBL battle event that's happening this weekend on the 20th down at End Zone is what it is. End Zone barbershop uh, hoping to see y'all there um, I'll talk about that another time shout out G Gray J Curry J Lopez Lady Loyalty all those who are involved um, <clears throat> I just say that to say this I just need to to address something real quick once again I got it pulled up behind me here but for those who don't know this once again another toddler loses her life to senseless violence I mean seriously like y'all just not gonna get it and they say that the suspect is in custody I have absolutely nothing to say about that I don't know the I don't know the facts of it because they kind of go from one part to another saying that possibly it led up the road rage whatever it led up to road rage they was almost involved in the crash or whatever so they don't say whether this person followed them home or you know what happened right then and there or or, or what um, but <clears throat> I will say this, I do know this fact that another child, one of our children, and I say our children, because if we're supposed to be so unified, if we're supposed to be so together, then this child belongs to all of us, meaning that we all have the responsibility of taking care of this child <clears throat> and fail miserably. And I'm not saying that, you know, us, you as uh, black people or us as black people, of course, we weren't there when it happened. But I mean, it, it's, it's, it's to a point now where, oh, man, how, how do I even how do I even put it? Like you, you study screaming about what white folks is doing to us. Every time I turn around, I'm seeing, oh, man, yeah, the Ku Klux Klan about to do this and 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 Trump that and white folks this and white privilege. But honestly, Ain't no white folks ever ran up on me with no guns telling me to break myself. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I, I'm not making light of the situations that's going on around uh, uh, America, you know what I'm saying, with all these killings. And I know some of them was actual assassinations. I know this. But I'm getting sick of these <laughs> know-nothings that stay screaming about what these white folks doing. And I bet you all the same ones, man, that's... That's kind of like promoting what's happening here, man. Like, like another toddler is dead. And of course, there's supposed to be an uproar. Not saying tearing up the city or nothing like that. But I'm talking about we supposed to be outraged at this. You know what I mean? Once again, another child. How, how, is, how is a toddler dying from gunshot wounds? Come on, man. Let's... let's <laughs> Let, let's let's discuss this just for a minute, man, because honestly, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. I'm going to make sure that this stays up because I need for this to stay up because I may have to say something. I'm going to be honest with you. Every time I went to jail, I did it. Every time the police kicked my door in, well, they only, only did it twice. <laughs> I did it. You know, although it was because, you know, people... Whatever the case, I, I, if I wouldn't have gave him uh, nothing to, to snitch on me about, then I wouldn't have got snitched on. Okay, that's how I look at it. I'm not upset with whoever did what. You know what I mean? That, that don't make, that's, that's really not the issue right now. But the issue is this. I am owning up to what it is that I did. You know what I mean? But you got people out here that's so self-righteous, that's just so with the, you know, you're dirty and I'm unblemished. Them the ones that's always running their mouth about, you know what I'm saying, what these white folks is doing and how we should unify and we shouldn't follow God and all this or other type of stuff. But look at what you're giving us. Look at what's happening. Where, where are you? Where are you now? Where are you to, to speak about this baby? Where, where are you to speak up for her? No, you, you somewhere getting high, wondering how you finna be miserable today. That's, that's what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, man, I'm not condoning and I will never, ever condone this. The only thing that's really pissing me off, aside from the obvious, is that as a man, and I mean this, as a real man, not one of these fake dudes portraying to be men, thinking that because they get up and put a pistol in their uh, uh, pants, that that's guaranteeing them safe travels back to the crib. It's not. 
It's really not. But I'll get that. That's another subject. As a man that's trying to trying his best to, to get his privileges reinstated, to get his rights back. It's like every time something like this happens, I'm 100 percent positive that this chump is a felon. And every time I turn around, somebody that's doing something stupid is a felon. You already struck out. Ain't no such thing as, oh man, that's just another strike against me. You done struck out already. You're a felon. So now you want to go out and pull guns and you want to shoot people? Seriously. And you still doing the same stupid garbage that got you popped in the first place. That's what make it bad for me and men like me. Men that really, okay, man, I, I made a mistake 20 years ago. I'm done with that. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. You know what I mean? I done got into it with my family because I'm not doing that no more. You know what I mean? People don't know. I'm, I'm, trust me, I could have got, I could have jumped back down. <laughs> I'm talking about ugly, but I wouldn't be in front of you right now. Then I'll be back in jail quick, like it ain't nothing. That's how you know I'm not doing nothing, cause I'm, I'm, I'm back out here and then I'm here. You know what I mean? Ain't no going back and forth. And every time I run up on somebody with the, you're 45. How's you just getting out of jail? You're 56. How's you on probation? Yeah, I mean, I, and I know people are, oh, man, you know, we in the hood and, you know, we got to do what we got to do to survive. Dude, you learn from things. You know what I'm talking about? You don't sit up there and just every single day, okay, I go to jail for this. All right, they got me this time, but I'm going to do it like this next time. That's the thinking of a real life idiot. You slow, for real. And, and you need to be in jail, honestly. Me, myself, nah. Nah, I don't even want to see the county again. I don't want to see the inside of it. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not finna be challenging no demons, talking about, yeah, man, I wish somebody would do something to my kids, dog. Nah, I challenged that demon before, and I lost my daughter. You know what I mean? I'm not finna be all that, oh, I wish somebody would do something to one of my babies. Because I, I don't. I don't wish nobody would do nothing to none of my kids. But I, I say that to say this. I am a man... Yes, I'm a felon, and I'm trying to get my rights reinstated, but y'all making it real hard for me and men like me that's trying to get themselves back together. Well, I'm already back together. I'm established. I'm cool. The only thing I got on me is that, that, that X. That's it. You know what I mean? Other than that, I'm fine. But, like I said, these acts of, of foolishness and stupidity, that's what it is. It's a lot of stupidity, man, and y'all just going to continue to do it. And they got the nerve to bash white folks. Y'all bashing white folks. And even if they is doing it, they doing it in secret. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm, I keep uh, updated on the, you know, the situations with the young black folks going missing and found with no organs and stuff like that. That's terrible. But that's something that's not even really mentioned, you know, until somebody get found or somebody comes up missing. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't really keep that in the news or we don't keep that on social media like that. So don't lie like you do. But my thing is, like I said, this right here, it has to stop. I don't know what we're going to do to make it stop because you got a whole bunch of idiots running around with guns. And the only thing I hate about this, oh, yeah, we're going to have to do gun control. Good folks going to say, OK, you know what, man? I'm not going to carry no gun because I don't want to hurt nobody. That's not stopping these assholes from walking around with guns. Just because you disarm the, the, the in-laws don't mean the outlaws finna give, give away their guns. They not. So, look, that's one, one thing that I can definitely agree upon, agree upon with, uh, with what David Clark said. And he said, look, it might take us 15, 20 minutes to get to you. So in that case... If you got anything, you need you need to take care of your business because ain't nothing that we can do until we get there. So your immediate situation, you better take care of that. You, you better be able to at least stand the fight until we get there. I agree with that. You know what I mean? Because it's a bunch of assholes out here that's out here looking at small lives like the way up here. And they want to take them, as you can see. You know what I mean? I don't know what the reason was behind this. This, once again, moment of, of senseless violence that took this young lady's life or took this baby's life. And I'm talking about she'll never know the joys of childbirth, marriage, proms, growing up. You know what I mean? All these things that come with life, with living. You know what I mean? She'll never know these things because of a moment of somebody's indiscrepancies. 
You know what I mean? And 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 it makes no sense. You know what I mean? Ain't no ain't no getting in front of the judge and I just I just, look, man. You knew what you was doing. When you aim that trigger and pull it, ain't no taking it back. Ain't no taking it back. Okay. I'm not gonna hold y'all too much longer, man. I just had to say something about this, man, because it's getting ridiculous now. And I'm finna start following this. I'm finna start following you idiots, man. Killing these kids, man. What the? Okay, you know what? I'm about to about to get mad around here, even more so than what I am. But you know what? This is big homie, man. I, I just had to speak on. Oh, her name was Brooklyn Harris. Let me make sure. Yes, three years old. Brooklyn Harris, remember her. Etch that name in your in your in your heart right now. Etch it in your mind. Brooklyn Harris, three years old, toddler. All she wanted to do was just hang out for the day. She didn't know what was going on. She didn't have no say in where she went or who she ended up with or the situation that happened. She had absolutely had absolutely nothing to do with that. And 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 lost her life for it. I need for y'all to think about that, man. It's a big homie, MC Ryan Ski. Brooklyn Harris, man. We about this bitch. Peace.